Workflow Apps gives you the power to make your business processes just right for you with customizable workflows and automation and a one-stop shop portal to make interacting with these workflows a snap. Imagine having all of your tasks managed in one spot where you can see them clearly, monitor their progress, and efficiently collaborate across applications, departments, and time zones. With zero coding, your teams can dive into an intuitive WYSIWYG design tool, craft a rich experience for your users, then combine that with ricotta recipes and data storage to handle complex business logic and keep tabs on all of your process activities and status changes. Let's take a look to see how it works. Let's dive in to an employee onboarding workflow at my fictional company, which we'll call Acme Tech. There are multiple teams and team members involved in successfully onboarding a new employee, such as the people ops coordinator working with the candidates, the hiring manager eager to get their new employees started, and IT support agents responsible for app and equipment provisioning. After an offer is signed, each team member has different tasks that need to be completed before the employee joins to make sure they're set up for success. And everyone has to juggle multiple apps to communicate, such as Workday, DocuSign, Okta, and Jira. Currently, there's no tool that can be used to manage the whole employee onboarding process and augment the human workflows with robust automation to create the best employee experience possible. Enter Workflow Apps. We'll start with a candidate signing an offer letter, which updates the workday status. This will automatically kick off a new employee onboarding workflow to send the new hire the legal paperwork required for their geolocation. Once that paperwork is complete, the hiring manager for this role will be notified from our Acme Tech portal that they need to supply additional information to kick off the IT provisioning. Let's see what that looks like. Signing into Workflow Apps is easy, since Workflow Apps are integrated with our identity provider, Okta, so I can log into the employee onboarding app as I would any other application. Now I'm in the portal as John, a sales manager with a few reps starting in the coming weeks and I can see there are other workflow apps for application access, expense requests, and PTO requests. All of these apps and tasks are fully governed by role-based access controls, so I can have only the permissions a sales and people manager needs and nothing more. For now, I can see my inbox, where I can view all of the tasks that need my attention, and I can see that there are several items that need my action for new employees. So from the task queue, let me work on the pending request for my new employees, which I can do by clicking into the top task. On the top, I can see the current stage of the process, which is manager review. I can see the name of the employee and the request history, such as when the request was created, the stage history, and any comments that have been added along the way. Clicking the open task awaiting my input, I can see more information that was pulled in from Workday when the offer step was complete. Department and title, notes from HR, and confirmation that their background check and pre-hire paperwork is complete. As the hiring manager, it's asking me for a few pieces of information to make sure this new hire starts out on the right foot, an onboarding buddy, and the technology and equipment this new hire will need. I'm uniquely situated to answer those as I know what tools and systems they'll need and who on the team makes the most sense to pair them with. Once I hit submit, Tickets will be created in JIRA for IT to provision and ship out any equipment requested. Now that I'm back in the portal, I can see that Elijah has shifted to the IT ticket created status. Now some time has passed since that IT ticket was created and one of the IT support specialists in my company has marked the ticket closed to indicate that the applications have been provisioned and the equipment requested has been shipped. When this ticket is marked done, it indicates that the employee is ready to go for day one with Acme Tech, and we can send them a single welcome email with all of their company, departmental, and IT welcome materials. Now let's switch over to Workado to look at all of the components that we use to build this experience. Here I'm logged into Workado as part of the HR operations team who built this application. Each of the applications I saw in my portal lives in the workspace as an individual app project. On this page, you can see that there are three components to create this employee onboarding app. The app pages to display to the users, the business logic or recipes to manage the flow of data, and the data storage layer for all of the inputs from the users and applications. First, let's take a look at the pages, also referred to as the UI or user interface. In the page designer, you can easily create beautiful pages that make it easy for your users to understand what's being asked of them 
all with a drag and drop, what you see is what you get editor. The designer has many common elements like buttons, text boxes, drop downs, check boxes, and containers to fully customize and control the experience. I can add additional elements to the page, resize them, change their labels, and control their values, visibility, and requirement depending on the request or page data, such as a dropdown value. I can also connect these elements to existing columns in my data table or add new columns to collect additional information. And speaking of data, you can access the table storing your request data from the project view or right here in the page builder. You can think of this table as a powerful spreadsheet that can store thousands of rows across columns of varying data types. As you can see, it's very easy to add new columns. Specify a data type and continue to expand the table as requirements change, then add those data fields to your page to collect or display information. In the full table view, linked here, you can also apply filters to quickly search and analyze requests. As you can see, Elijah is present here with their information from both Workday and the internal teams. The element that glues together the data layer and your well-designed pages is nothing other than a Workato recipe. The recipes used for workflow apps are the same kind of recipes you create for other automations. They have a trigger and a series of actions, as well as any operations or integrations you need. But now they control the flow of your app, assigning tasks, awaiting approvals, and keeping your business moving forward. You'll find workflow app and table storage in the library of connectors, along with the thousands of apps we provide connectivity for, to help you make the most of your automations. That's a quick introduction to Workflow Apps, Ricardo's no-code application platform. For more information, you can request a demo today and get your applications up and running in no time.